Welcome to another very interesting episode of Tea Time. We'll analyze the biggest intimate stories. My name is Elsa Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu It's good, it's good. What's good? good. How you guys doing? Well, <laughs> how are you, Elsie? Is there something I should know about? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. Well, we know. <laughs> we know. Okay. Okay. So congratulations to Bonaboy as his fifth and most recent studio album, Twice as Tall, sets new record as it is currently occupying the number one spot on Billboard's world album chart. Mm. This makes his album the highest speaking Nigerian album on the popular music charts. And of course, that's why it's amazing. Congratulations oh, it's to your him. Time. It's your time. To shine. It's been his time for a while. He's been starting. His time was like from, is it 2019? I was actually still dancing to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for him. It's a big deal. Really big deal. Clearly, a lot of people are streaming the song. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't been able to listen to the album a lot. Like, I, as, as, as soon as I got the rhythm of every song on there, nothing has really drawn me back. Maybe, maybe bigger... Um, Way too, big. way too big. Yeah. Way too big. Yeah, way too big was maybe a song that I go back. To. That's the only song I think I go back to. I'm you sure. can bank on it. Yeah, that one too. Mm -hmm. And even this Afa mm -hmm. song, so the I last one. Bank on it. That's yeah. the last one. No? That's uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I go back to that one as well. But after that, there's no other song I'm really like. Ah, long no, I don't, I'm not Really. Mm -hmm. It must have so one. It has to be yeah, a like very special mood that I'm in. We are the monsters you made. If I, we know you really are you really kidding me? Well, I, I, it's not drawing well, me done. back to go and listen. Not as well. much as Apollo. Like Apollo, I want to listen over and over. I'm even scared that if I listen to it too much, I'll get Where tired. Way too big to be a witch here. But like good luck. I mean, to good what? Good luck. Kudos to him. Whatever he said there with you. Yeah. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think I think he's made a lot of effort into that song. It wasn't. There's no bad, terrible song on there. And I think he did a lot of work with preparing for this. So. I cannot say that he's not deserving. I think he he's very de deserving, and I hope that you know this continues to go for future songs as mm. well. You know, and I, I like that he's not. Album. I mean, I, I still I will still say the same thing I said the last time. I just I like the um, deliberate attempt in choosing the sequence of how the album goes through from beginning. It takes you through a journey to that bank on it that drops me on the bus stop. But yeah, I mean, I love that. I mean, he's put in the work and it's time for him to enjoy. I remember when um, um, Fireboy dropped Apollo and, you know, he's been, I don't it's know if Fireboy he's the one. Yesterday. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's the one handling his Twitter page, but mm -hmm. whoever it is or if he's the one has been constantly putting out links like stream this mm -hmm. album, stream this album. And then he did that on that day and somebody was like, ah, ah you are a hater. You're trying to promote your song when Fireboy dropped and now, but I'm wondering, I don't understand. <laughs> Did they pay the same studio time mm -hmm. together? He's supposed to promote his own work as well. But I'm happy that he's winning on all grounds. Last time we spoke about it, we were talking about him maybe making number one in the UK. Mm. Um, although this is not the same chart, but I think this is way bigger deal. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. you're way too big, fam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so um, I like this PL team. That's the first thing I want to put out there because... Um, He's cooperating doing, with them this time. Yeah, yeah, they're doing a very, very, very good job. And this is why, you know, sometimes the, the album might be so good, the songs might be great, but if you don't have a solid team that is mm. helping you do the PR that is putting out there, man, it won't go anywhere. You get So the team is actually putting in work. And I really, really like what you're doing. Like I was watching Big Brother, the task yesterday, and um, they they gave them a private listening session because I don't think they played this twice as tall in the house and they were in the house already when the album dropped, right? Mm. So they had not listened to it. So there was this big swing that brought Bonner Boy up and was like, Through okay. Uh, yeah, he's mm. an ambassador for Pepsi. Yeah, so that yeah no, cool. I, was, I didn't want to call the brand, but it's well, okay. Uh, no he's yeah. everywhere, yeah. everywhere already. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they should pay still. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was like okay so this is great because mm. a lot of people watch big brother and not a lot of people are bonner boys fans yeah. do you understand yeah. so those people were forced because you wanted to see the winner of that mm. task and Very then they smart. gave them at mm. the end of the show and then they played the full album you get mm. so i felt like that was just amazing so big shout mm. out kudos to his team as well they put mm. it in the work 
Okay, moving on to Ghana now. And another good news, a stone boy received plaques for being most streamed Ghanaian musician on Boomplay. In 2019, he was ranked as the most streamed musician on that platform. So yeah, he's pretty excited to get his plaques and mm. he's promised them to give them more music. I like the fact that um, African artists are beginning to use the digital platform because mm -hmm. it's not just about going to perform in, show, in shows anymore or um, giving us albums and stuff. Now, digital platforms play a huge role in bringing revenue to the entertainment mm. industry and also to the artists themselves by getting royalties and recognition globally. So I like the fact that we're beginning to explore that digital space and not just keeping it analog and just doing the old. I'm still exploring this thing. Long. Begin I don't think beginning really sits well because that's been the trend for it's been the, the trend. last two years now. Yeah, it's not it's, like we're getting in been, on it now. It's not like we're getting in on it now, but we're beginning to focus on streams. That's why somebody that like COVID nineteen. That's them, anyway. why someone like Black Bones on everybody's comment. Have you streamed Abba today? I mm -hmm. don't know if you guys it's saw been that, that period. For a long time. No, no, that especially Abba. Can you remember when he was doing it on almost every? Okay. No, you don't even have to follow him as long as you're following somebody else, and then he just comments. This comment is always, "Have you streamed Abba today?" And it was becoming a thing on radio. I think the people that need to cultivate the culture more would be Africans. In Africa or say Nigerians in Nigeria to actually go and stream um, their work rather than waiting for places to download it for free. Mm. I think those are the areas we need to be having con conversation because I think artists, in fact, upcoming artists already know that they need to have an audio and mark. And before you start talking yeah. about my own, my own <laughs> thinking about Stone Boy, um, is, is first of all, I think I was, I'm really impressed about how lately they have been pushing the Ghanaian sound because sometimes I get discouraged when indigenous music or indigenous sound doesn't do very well as much as the burner boy types of songs that are um, marketable to the globe and so because I remember when we were having a conversation that I was saying that I don't think Olamide is that sold outside like and I think it deserves to be part of the people making that type of noise but because it's indigenous that might be a restriction so for me this this um, this um, um, upload that um, Shatawali did kind of was like Stoneboy. Stone Boy sorry was kind of like a um, was the encouragement for me to do that because the songs are quite indigenous in that way so I'm hoping that that type of music also gets pushed out so that people are not necessarily we don't start to lose our voice because I don't want it to get to a point where we're all trying to strive for like uh, you know international recognition, but in the same way we're we're, temp we're um, going into the neo colonization of sounding Western to be able to sell Western, you know, like it would be nice to still be able to get that Western ac acknowledgement with African sound. So this for me was a big deal, and I like the statement where he said, um, "Thank you to everybody that's listening to Ghana music." Like I like that he's pushing that focus as well. Like he's selling that sound, and I appreciate that. You can go on now about your digitalization. Tea time continues to rise after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, to the end note is um, definitely not backing down as it's dragging Juru Olumofi even after the lawsuit. Hmm. He says his liar is like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> his lawyer is a, it looks like a charge and bill and mm. he's already feeling sleepy, not getting to the court. I don't know. We saw the picture of what it looks like, but mm. this drama is becoming really I don't know. It's looking like what Ife described yesterday when it comes to women women drama. So this <laughs> is getting closer to that <laughs> space. He says he doesn't have to even 
make a video or mm. say anything. All he does is type, and someone is Very triggered. Very guy. You know. Uh, but he's saying the facts now. Well, he's always triggered on top of Tunde Edna's matter. Even when everybody says the same thing, once Tunde Edna says it, he's angry. I because even the one Tunde he started Edna's it, I think he has a personal beef with Tunde Edna. But no, anyway, let's beef just with Tunde move on. Go on. It's like you have a, a, a competing brand. It's like, hmm. let's use the uh, popular cola brands that we know, the two hmm. popular cola brands. You see one do an advert and mm -hmm. the other one will probably do a response to that advert. Yeah. You mm -hmm. would know there is a continuation. It's because of your platform. I know that your platform is big enough to mm -hmm. mess with my brand. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I will be triggered by that. Do you yeah. understand? So, it's not about Sunday Ed not or um, what's it called, Joro right now. Mm. It's about when you know that there are, these are two Yeah, but brands. I'm still looking at the peculiarity of the aquarius. Because most of the time, even the last one that is very fresh in the memory regarding um, people the insinuating meme. that Joro, uh, the meme actually, is a yeah. meme. It wasn't okay. created by Tunde Ednot. In fact, before Tunde Ednot posted that, I've seen that in other platforms yeah. that are big as well. Yeah. Normal people's stories, it has gone way viral before Tunde Ednot picked it. And really Tunde Ednot picked it, our uncle decided to be very angry and that was how their fight started all over again. So well, this is not the that that first that's time. also because Tunde probably has the most influence. I don't think so. I think um, it's been on platforms that have like 400,000 um, um, followers as well. Yes, Yes, Tunde Edna has like two Tunde. million and so, but compared, why didn't you respond to it when it was? I'm talking of going viral, not just on Tunde Edna's mm. page now. So when he got on his page, it was a case of, uh, okay, we've seen it, but his loyal fans will still comment because they are looking forward to winning the million that he gives them at the end of the year. Don't forget that that prize is still there, and that's why everybody jumps on their head to comment on his um, 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 Tunde Edna's page. So it's not like people had not seen it, they just had to react because that's what he has made his platform do. So I don't know, whatever their beef is, I hope they really settle it because I, 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 I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say it's beneath anyone it's above anyone to feel personally attacked if maybe a big brand especially your competition brand decides that every time they put you in the light whatever whatever like mm. I don't think it's I don't think it's unnatural for him to feel some type of it's way the Ed Norton but, and Juru competitors in any, are they in the same space well I guess they see themselves they see themselves as competition competition I don't know how, how they choose their <laughs> They're quite in the same space because the market, um, their target audience is on um, what's it called social media, Instagram. Then everybody, sure, everybody's I'm pretty sure, this is me, me speculating, but my, my speculation, I'm pretty sure that there they, is something else behind the scenes me, away from sure social that. media that is causing that tension. Um, I'm very biased never met with this story before. because, one, I don't know for sure if. His joke or his stance on saying that Juro's stories are fake is even true. Two, I just don't like Tunde Edna very much. I think it's very disrespectful. So um, I'm a bit biased on the story. But to try and not be as biased, I, 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 if he's going to take it the legal way, he is allowed to do that. And if Tunde Edna is going to respond, he's still allowed to, me or person, he's still allowed to do that. The, the war has started. Fight it. I'm not <laughs> expecting, honestly. I'm the not war expecting, is here. Mm -hmm. I don't have to preach love. I'm not, not a preacher of love. They've not. Mm -mm, Continue. I think, I think it's very natural for Tunde Edna to also respond. I mean, if you're going to give somebody a loss, uh, file a lawsuit against someone, of course they're going to respond. If it's that they're going to tell your lawyer down, call him law, stop <laughs> fight. We're you ready know, to I, see I, how I, this, I, this I felt, I felt like um, for Tunde Edna to be responding right now, I just hope he's innocent. I just hope he's not an illegal immigrant. I just hope he has his papers complete. One of the comments on our page actually says that you are defaming today. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking about it. Okay, what did you say? There's probably the case of calling him um, illegal immigrant. Maybe he is not. Because remember one of his responses as well. He said maybe he needs to go and Google what the meaning of illegal immigrant mm. is. So why don't you think this is probably an assumption for people to think that Tunde not will be very public and then like that? Then maybe, the then he maybe Tunde this. will be very correct about that lawyer saying it's a charge and bill lawyer for <laughs> jumping on that. No, TV I think, I think what happens immigrant. is that with immigration, it is very tricky. Mm -hmm. And there's some people that are not necessarily legal immigrants. I am not straightforward illegal, illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. And you're in the middle. I suspect with all my heart yeah, that Tunde is, is um, in the middle. Because if Tunde was not... If Tunde was a proper, full-on resident, he would be saying, go and go, go, what's immigrant, whatever. Like, yeah. you're wasting time, since, especially Tunde. He would have said something like that. So I don't think his um, status is um, necessarily clear. Like, he's probably some refugee. He's probably oh. like that. Oh, God. Now, his village people are uh, like, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is <laughs> that he has done, but I think that his documentation 
is a bit is ongoing. Uh, no, no, maybe not, not as straightforward, mm -hmm. um, and maybe that's what those lawyers are backing and um, banking off of. Um, but probably also don't have full details. Of what that looks like, so let them fight. Shall let's see how it ends. That's I mean, it's fun so to watch. So, as not to defame Tunde, immigrant stands with you. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on to the next story. It is pure laziness to not know the word of God for yourself if you're a Christian. My pastor say, my pastor say, God gave us all gifts, and that includes a functioning brain. How do you spend your thinking for another's words? Um, how do you suspend your thinking for another's words? The Lord knows those who are his. Don't get me wrong, not all who call him Lord are his. Check your spirits. And this is coming from Kate Too many Henshaw. train of thoughts in one message. Mm. Too many. Too, Way too many. characters. Uh, uh, fam. Too many. She's smart like that. She knows the word of God. Yeah, yeah so. she's spirit-filled. Um, I don't know, man. You are very confused. Very, very confusing. So I don't know. That's what I can get from it. Because one minute, it's that you need to go to church and that you need to, you know, follow the leaders and... Ex for, uh, no, she's not saying don't go to church. She's not saying don't follow the leaders. She's just saying do it with your, your head working properly. But is, is there anything wrong with actually saying that I learned from my pastor that, and he said A, B, C, and D? When you Considering say... Considering the fact no, that they're the saying I that think, many are called but few are right, chosen. I think when... I mean, this is me saying what I think I got from what she tweeted. When she's saying my pastor said, my pastor said, there are conversations we have with people that are supposed to be Christians. And um, I don't want to sound like I'm the right one now, but then you know what they're saying is clearly wrong. It's based on humanity and how you treat people. And then when they want to defend themselves, they're not defending themselves or what they're saying based on what they have read or their conviction or the experience of God. What they will, hear, what they will say is, my pastor said, this is what my pastor said. I'm standing by it. My pastor said it is like this and that is how it is. So having a conversation with such people can be really draining. Mm. And I am guessing that those are people she's referring to. Is, I don't think she's saying don't go to church or don't um, listen to your pastor or don't engage your pastor. Okay, and so, so she, because she is chosen and she knows that she's chosen. Her own her own understanding is a lot she's better chosen. than... I mean, now, is that what you're saying? That she's chosen and not everybody who says they're chosen is chosen. Isn't it? Uh, okay, I didn't say that part. For the people who, they, not everybody who says he's his is his. Isn't that what you're saying? The Lord knows who are his and not everybody that's, who that's says That's like his. a verse from the Bible. But it's still part of her explanation in it it's yeah. not part of the story that because so i think it's hard so basically trying to the say pastors that are there are, of course we know that they are fake pastors eh, that one is not a new so, story eh. so that's why i started with many are called but few are chosen yeah. and that's so, what i'm asking who so she's basically saying that she's chosen I she's not no she's not saying herself. that she's okay. chosen she's just saying that you, you need to know that there are some that are called but they're right. not chosen so okay. when they I mean, there, there's, um, there's some that feel like they, they are, are the cold, ones, yes. but mm -hmm. they are not the chosen right. ones. So when they actually and they are the ones that know that they are not the chosen ones, but they are using a color yeah. and brain to yeah. be. So at the end of the day, I think she's just telling you that. Is that they say they are the chosen one? They're, they're ordained men of God that you know. It is, it is a relationship with God. You can't just know. Mm. I, I don't think we would know when someone is chosen. Mm, okay. It's between that person and God. Okay. So uh, at the end of the day, I feel like what she's just trying to say is use your head. Mm. Simple. That if they are telling you this in church, it doesn't mean you should run with it when it doesn't fit into the scenario or the circumstances in which you're in at that moment. Personally, for me, it doesn't just seem that straightforward. <laughs> I understand that. And well, that's maybe she wasn't it's, articulate yeah, enough, no, but that I, was what I, she was I trying to get. I what she's trying to say in terms of that, but I think even with the, with, the, with the religion as a whole, I think it's not even that straightforward to say that to make it that simpl simplistic because there is still the notion of going to, you can't ask people to go to church every single Sunday, say devoted to their pastors and not get influenced by that. But at the same time, they're supposed to use discretion to figure out if they're for them or which not for them. Which is why you're supposed to choose who influences you and what the person is saying. Of if it course, aligns yeah. with your church. spirit, which is what she's saying. Mm. Yeah, and so. your spiritual leader. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> Moving on to mm -hmm. the next story. I mean, Genevieve Naji doesn't talk much, but I guess this time she's talking and um, I'm also yet to see the platform that she had this interview with. But she says, or they say she said, quote, if I get married, I really want to stay married and staying married is not an easy thing. It means you are completely in tune with your partner. It means you have found your soulmate and will have to be able to stand a lot of disappointments that would definitely come. But then again, you have to learn how to forgive. A lot more too. I'm very surprised actually. Have you seen the video? I just saw a screenshot of yeah. the thing. I don't know how legit the story because it feels like. I don't know how legit that Out of character because she she talked 
<laughs> I mean, it's surprising. Really talk that much, especially about things like this. I was also very stupid because the blog I, I saw, they used pictures of Beyonce, of her and Debanj together. Wow. So I was just like, mm, I don't know how. I doubt. Is. I doubt. I doubt this came from her. But then, what she's saying, though, what they said, she said. What do mm. you think about it? It makes sense. Yeah. I think there's. There, it's definitely a reality for a lot of people. I saw a comment yesterday on on on. Um, I think comment on picture, and I wanted to just screenshot this 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 girl's comment and pin it somewhere where she said she replied somebody who was bashing another lady, and she replied and said, P I think you're underestim underestimating how much of luck comes with love mm. and mm. i think that's what i would say with the story as mm. well <laughs> oh well, mm. Mm. as in i my home was quite deep yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but i think that's what that's what it is with this the, yeah. with this person that like, a lot of it is luck simple if you understand that then you want to add something i just want to say that man whatever works for you if you feel like marriage is not your thing you don't have to be if you feel like you need the long-term commitment and you haven't found that person it's okay mm. to stay single don't let nobody pressure you mm. Mm. Love is a lot of luck. Yeah, deep. And that's what I'm taking away. I don't know what you've taken away from our conversation today. But no, that's how... Don't underestimate the power of, of luck that comes with love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't underestimate the power of luck that comes with luck. Love. Mm -hmm. Please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057519 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluwashuke and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.